today I have a very exciting video I'm collaborating with other youtubers and we are going to make a spring clean with me video so Minnie my mom started this amazing idea to get together and just post the same topic and that way you guys can get even more tips and ideas. For spring I wanna refresh my home and also I have so many hacks and tricks to make the cleaning easier with all natural homemade cleaners that are easier on your budget and it's better for your head and it doesn't clutter up your home to have so many different type of cleaners. So after you watch this video, don't forget to check out my description box because I will leave the link down below there, that whole playlist where everybody's video gathered into one playlist. So that way you will get more ideas and more inspiration. I'm pretty sure that's on everybody's list to clean the window on the spring so I just wanna share with you some tips that helps with you with that and this brush I think it's called the bench brush and I love that that it has a narrow head so it allows me to go into those knocks and crannies where the window slides and also for this type of little corners I like to use is actually a wooden spoon but you can use a chopstick and I just wrap around a uh, rag. Okay, this tool, I should have bought this years ago because even though in our previous home, our windows weren't that high, but I still had to use chair. But with this, it is very convenient. Okay, this is not entirely perfectly clean, <laughs> but I can tell you this is so much better Actually, I get to see outside now what we have there. <laughs> I washed these screens when we did the remodeling so I didn't feel the need of <laughs> washing it again so I just used the dry brush just to remove some pollens but if you want to clean it you can use some soapy water. The entrance and the deck will get a little fresh up too. I remove all those cobwebs and old leaves.
<laughs> kids and plants are growing the most on the spring so I want to support my plants with some homemade fertilizer sometimes I use the leftover from the rice when I rinse them off but I think this one works even better I just soak some banana peels we always have a lot as we make smoothies and I just soak it for 24 hours I just pour this water over the plants and it works amazing i already have some results and i don't know if due to the fact that the spring is here and there is more light or because of this fertilizer but my plants are flourishing and they started to have new and bigger leaves It's been over a decade I preparing my own cleaning solutions and each time I like to add something new like this little stickers to the top or sometimes I just switch up the oils the essential oils I like to use and it just makes it a little bit more fun when I clean Okay, so for the bed, I have this cleaner where I mix the baking soda with some lemon oil. So either you can use that one and just sprinkle it on the mattress, but if you have a vacuum cleaner that is a cordless Dyson one, don't do that because that can ruin your vacuum cleaner because it doesn't have a bag in there that protects the engine or a motor in there and I have an old vacuum cleaner that just do fine with that because I have a vacuum bag in there so it's up to you I just wanted to let you know make sure you know that information but the next one you can use that if you have a Dyson or either any other kind of vacuum cleaner so I'm going to just sprinkle some lavender on it and I'm going to rub it in there so when you vacuum it will give you a nice scent and also it won't ruin your vacuum cleaner If it's spring I like to bring out this drying rack I have this from Ikea and I love this because I can open it into a big surface so I can put my bedspread and the pillows and during the summertime I like to air out our sheet very often it just makes it very fresh and nice 
When you vacuum the mattress, make sure you do it slowly so the vacuum cleaner has time to suck up all those dust and dirt. Spring cleaning to me doesn't happen in one day. I'm just slowly getting ready for the new season. And I like to do a little bit here and a little bit there. The other day I was just doing something in the kids' rooms, now our bedroom. So each day I have something to do and I don't do a huge cleaning in one day. So that way uh, it doesn't burn me out that much. And also it just allows me to get ready for the season and I like to choose the days when it's more sunny so I am more inspired to do all the cleaning and I can air out the whole entire house. In my previous video I shared how I clean out the fireplace and how I scrubbed off the hard water built up from my shower. If you haven't seen that video I will link it down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to see more cleaning videos. But for now, don't forget to check out that playlist that I left below with other YouTubers that we collaborated with. So you can get more ideas and you can find new exciting channels. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!